Hi, I'm Skew with Pete. Today we're taking a look at the Intel Compute Stick. Uh, this one runs Ubuntu 14.04 LTS. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, Ubuntu is very simple in its naming formula. 14.04 means this is from 2014 April uh, LTS. So this is, a, this is a little old, this thing. I got this one off of Woot, which is now affiliated with Amazon. Uh, but let's get in closer and take a look at exactly what's going on here. Okay, first things first, let's take a look around the box. This is the Intel Compute Stick. It's a stick. Uh, connect Compute. It's that simple, is it? Never is. Uh, Intel Compute Stick. For this unboxing and walk around, I'm just going to take a look at what's going on. Here we see it says Security Notch Micro SD Card Slot. Oh, I wonder if it only runs with an SD. I don't know. Uh, USB 2 port. It's got a quad core Intel processor, Ubuntu, as I said, uh, eight gigabyte storage. Okay, so the US, the micro SD card slot is for additional storage. Eight gigabyte storage, one gigabyte memory, Wi-Fi BGN and Bluetooth 4. Also includes an HDMI extension cable and power adapter with USB cable. It's got a power button and a power port. There's the HDMI, you see it's all, it's all just one stick and that's probably gonna be about life size. Uh, does this tell you anything different? Not really. It's nice to see something come with Ubuntu though. If I'm honest, I kind of bought it for that. I just, I'm a big fan of the Ubuntu. There's a bunch of serial numbers and stuff on there. Transform any HDMI TV or monitor into a fully functional computer. Well, that's, let's be, let's, it's not really an over promise because that's really what just a computer does. I mean, every computer turns an HDMI TV into a fully functional computer. Whatever. All right, let's get inside. Look, I, I know I talk about it a lot, but packaging done right, look at this. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, there's a little black tab, and I pull the little black tab, and then this comes out. See, I know what I'm supposed to do. That's good packaging. Nothing in the inside of the box. Look at that. This is pretty cool. Look at this. So look, again, I know what I'm supposed to do because it only works in one way. Wow, it's cute, isn't it? Cute. Oh, okay, so even though we were looking at that picture, that picture described both sides. You can see the micro SD card slot is actually on the other side from the rest of the stuff. It's not a big deal. I'm just saying, just saying it is. Intel inside. That looks pretty slick. All right, let's see what else is inside the box. Whoa, lots of stuff. It's like a treasure trove in here. Okay, first we have the quick start guide. Sure. We have the extender. That's just to extend it a little bit if we need it to. This is a USB micro cable. These are the world's adapters to adapt to any region of the world. And this is going to be the little power brick. Yeah, that's the little power brick there. I'm just going to doubly make sure here. This little power brick. 5 volt, 2 amp. So that's a 5 volt, 2 amp. Uh, and I'm just going to put on the US connector on it. There you go. All right, doesn't need this plastic wrapper on it anymore. It's very glossy, so very fingerprinty, but it doesn't really matter. This is just gonna hide behind your TV anyway. Uh, HDMI extension cable, probably don't need it, but you know why that's there and why it's why it's useful? Let's say you put this on the edge of, you got your TV, right? You got, let's say your TV is here and your HDMI cable like plugs into the edge of your TV and you got this much sticking out from the edge of your TV. That's why this cable is useful because you plug this into the TV, you plug that in and then this, you see it hangs down. So then you can plug this in like that and then it hangs off to the side so it doesn't stick out from the back of your TV. That's what, why it's useful. Also, if your TV has a lot of interference as mine can, then this is also useful for that. Oh, well, this has a little, this has one of those plastic tops too. I'm gonna peel this off too. Oh yeah. Oh. So the main disadvantage to this thing is that it's only got one USB port 
and that USB port is USB 2. So you could basically plug a, a keyboard and mouse or something into it. So I just took a look online and checked if this thing supports CEC, which is the ability to control the computer via your TV remote connected uh, via HDMI. Just so you know, the Raspberry Pi at 35 bucks does include CEC. So this thing, that means that this USB port will need to connect to a mouse and or keyboard. But that doesn't mean that there's no use for this thing. This thing could still do a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, and let me give you an example of what I might use mine for. So what I might do with mine is I'll connect it to the Wi-Fi, then because it's running Linux, I'll connect to it via SSH. I'll plug a webcam in here, and then I'll be able to run this as a standalone web device so that I can add an extra camera to what you're watching right now. Thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. Don't forget to check in the About section for links to this and everything else you can see on my desk today. If you particularly enjoyed this stream, you can, of course, support this channel by buying me a cup of coffee in the About section below or by supporting me on Patreon. Don't forget to leave comments in the comment section below to check the about section for relevant links. I think I've already said that. Don't forget to press like, don't forget to press subscribe, and we'll see you guys again soon. I'm looking forward to getting one of these projects started, so next time you see this thing, we'll probably be in a project. Cool, thanks guys.